In this card they say the all is in the small for the hummingbird, and you know what? It's true. The littlest things that you do to move forward bring in the biggest rewards. Sometimes it will even surprise you. Whew. I'm warm, Pisces. I don't know if it's just a room or me. Could be me, though. Okay, quest. Wow, I like that. I love this. Okay, look at this. You have a choice. It's like she's giving two choices. One has got a little bit, and one's got a lot, but look at the clouds. It's exactly what I've been talking about. Okay? You may think that the quest of, of a lot, you know, the big kahuna, the big thing at the end, is what you're actually going for. But you probably find more happiness in the smaller field with a, 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 a nicer sky, a greener earth. Look at that. Okay, it's nice and green and growing and beautiful, just a beautiful space. This one has a lot, but it's deceiving. It's deceiving. It also has a lot of bugs. Um, I don't know, there's two very different roads. And one appears to have more, but is it quality? That's it. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm trying. Be content. Be more concerned with quality than quantity. That's exactly it. Exactly. Thanks, Spirit. You know, a little slow in the uptake. I say a lot of words to just say that, but that's okay. Yeah, they're just like, they're, there's, you know what, they stand beside me and I look at them every once in a while in, in my spiritual form and I can see them like, you know that smiling, like, yeah, yeah, we know. Okay? They do this to me. <laughs> they are so wonderful. They're so understanding. Let's just say they work with my human limitations, and they understand that, that communication between them and us is not always the easiest. And they got to get past our humanity. But they love our humanity to our guides, because they know that we are... Um, um, you know, they never put themselves... My guides never put themselves above me. They're just guiding me through this experience. They're my friends. I know this. I feel it. Okay? I wish you that. I wish you to see your guides as this, not as supernatural beings, but as really a best friend that you've ever had in your life. Ones that understand constantly that you need guidance, that you need many words to explain a very little thing. Okay? All right. The abundance card. There we go. There we go. And this card is one of my favorite for abundance, Pisces, because I've read the story in this one. It's how much are you willing to work for your abundance. It's again thinking outside the box. She goes and she loses a coin and investment, invest it and ends up like getting the house. It's two different stories again. It's this. It's two different stories. Two different, two different. He gives up, he, you know, gets disappointed, and, you know, loses out on the coin. She, like, I don't know, grabs a, st a stick and bubble gum, grabs the coin that fell in the grate, takes it, invests the coin, etc., etc. She thought outside the box to reclaim the coin that was dropped in the grate, and it just shows the perseverance of finding a way of doing things. Okay, and she didn't do it with any like, oh God, woe is me. It's like, okay, I have a solution. I have a problem to solve. Here's a possible solution. I mean, who would know that a string and bubble gum would work on bringing a coin back up? But it did. Okay, try it. Try it. Maybe unconventional, but give it a shot. See what happens. And in her case, it worked out. The little thing became a big thing, and that's what they're talking about. If you nurture something and you think outside the box, the little thing will become a big thing. If you're always looking for things or things are always happening for you or you're always waiting for somebody to produce things, you give away your power. And there's the yellow in that card. 
This is amazing, Pisces. They're telling you you're actually, your small actions are incredibly big. They're amazingly huge in the way that you do it. See, I do love these cards. They even show you the two different things. I love it. Quality versus quantity. Ingenuity versus just, I can't do anything because it's too hard. Ta-da! There you go. I mean, you know, that's, that's kind of saying it all. That kind of explains it all. Okay, so let's see. I'm going to take a C. This one here. What's it called? C Soul Journeys Oracle Cards. I bought these because they're the C. We are Pisces. We need these cards, right? We are Wada. Get one out of this. Reflect. May you discern and distill. <laughs> I love it. And distill. Right. I feel the four of air here very, very much. Look at this picture. Wow. Look at that. The reflection. I always tell you, clean up your waters and that's you're going to reflect the heaven and the earth. There's there's the middle there, but if, if you're smart, you won't even tell the difference. It'll all be integrated one into the other and it'll form its own picture, its own beautiful thing all by itself. May you discern and distill. Let's see. Uh, I have to look at the back. It is that. Okay. Because if I find a section, there you go. Pause. There we go. The sea witnesses all weather. In the thick of the squall, its peaks and throws may obscure your truths, but in the calm, its surface reflect, reflects you back to yourself. It softly mirrors your actions, observes your ripples, and shows the currents that pull you. May the storm pass. May you find space for reflection. May you witness patterns of hope and transformation. I see myself clearly and with compassion. Now, I'm getting a, a thing with the King of Water here, too, as well. As I was talking about that, I was thinking, like, when the seas, when the storms, that's exactly compassionate, understanding, trustworthy, knowing that there'll always be storms around you, but the way that you handle things is, is the key. It really is the key. Do you want quantity. You want more of everything. You'll always be looking for more of everything. You'll always be striving for more. Even when you get more, you'll want more. Or are you going to be just looking for quality? Or, or just not looking for quality, just living. I would say live your quality life every day. Be grateful for everything every day. You wake up uh, you're usually sore and you wake up one day and you're less sore. I'm grateful for being less sore. Um, I'm grateful to be alive. Some people don't even get that today. Um, you know, I'm going to make today the best day because I don't know if it's my last one. I'm going to love the people in my life because I don't know if it's their last one. And it's nothing to fear. When, when everybody in my life goes somewhere else or they pass, I always, I always add them to my dream team. I always go, another one on the other side who's going to have infinite wisdom. And, and they've been part of my life, so I can call on them now. Awesome. And they want to help. Because as humans, we don't always help when we're called upon. And you don't need to feel awful about that as well. It's the contrast we live sometimes we can't. We're either not in a position or we just, I don't know, we just can't. We're having an experience here. But as realm people, well, all we have is energy and time, right? So it's not, I don't love it when they go there, but heck, I think to myself, I'm going to call on you, I'm going to go see you, I'm going to meditate on you, I'm going to watch for signs from you, I'm going to feel love from you, and I, I hope that you guys are doing the same. 
Talking about love from you, this is my mother's deck. So, it's a spirit song to row. It's the only animal deck I have because she loved her animals. She always had animals. I was just thinking of her elephant because I have it here. Let me see here. I was thinking um, after she passed away, um, I went into a shop where I got my singing bowl. And along with the singing bowl, I got this beautiful elephant. And the eye on it, I've, I've shown you guys this before, but the eye on it, there was three others and they didn't look like they were alive. This eye looks alive. It looks like it's out of place in this face. It looks like it would blink at any moment. And I felt my mother in it as soon. And um, I bought it and I keep it close by. And um, I'm going to put it right here. And as I was thinking about that just now as I was shuffling in, there it is. Strength, courage, and endurance. This is again the energy of the Knight of Wands. Um, the strength card, um, Lionsgate that just went by, that's that energy that propelled you in this position, that made you strong enough to step into this life, into this, this energy. Yeah. Five of Feathers, Strategy and Resilience, and this is an Amadillo. Also my mother being very making sure that I know she is here. Um, when she was alive she would send me pictures of Amadillos. We don't have them here. She lived in Texas and um, she sent me little, I have, I have it somewhere, little uh, sculpted Amadillos because I love them. I thought they were the cutest little rats I've ever seen in a hard shell. And uh, I just, they made me laugh. And she says they're considered pests here. Um, but just showing that, you know, she's, she's making sure that I know she is here. Um, the strategy and resilience in this card is awesome because that's what we're talking about, to be resilient and have a strategy on how you're going to do things, Pisces. You don't need to um, you just need to think your way through things, that's it. You don't need to make it complicated. Resilience is just the fact of just uh, the, the idea of putting one foot in front of the other going I'm not going to let anything stop me. And I'm not going to let anything make me feel heavy or painful or feel like I'm a failure. I'm resilient. I'm endurance. I have a strategy. I can do anything that I want. When you have a little bit of thought, you can come up with this beautiful, I'm not a bird, but I can figure out how to be a bird for right now. You know, I can look like a bird. I can have bird thoughts. Yeah. I can do it, absolutely, for for a moment, yes, I can do that, okay? I can make the environment fit what I need it to be so that I can get to my next step. And I can do it with joy, I can do it with, um, a challenge is not always bad, Pisces. When you don't have a challenge in front of you and you have nothing to ever fight for, you can get really stagnant and bored really, really quick. Awakening, yeah. Renewal and enlightenment. And also, when you have to figure things out for yourself, look at this beautiful peacock, um, you shine brighter, you become bigger, you become, I don't know, just better than who you were before. Because you become, here, help me out here, help me out here, spirit. You become bigger than yourself because you learn beyond the confines of just every day. Having to find solution of things helps you grow 
in size, makes you abundant, makes you expand. There you go. There's the Jupiter coming back in. It makes you expand. Makes, making you expand makes you... It's like knowing more than the day before. Knowing more than the day before is always better because it gives you answers to future problems. It's just, it basically is that. King of Acorns. Optimism and innovation. Absolutely. This is the King of Fire. No, it's the King, yes, it's, this is the King of Earth. I'm talking about the King of Fire. The one who has the power. The one who meets up to challenges. The one who is not afraid of diversity or problem solving. He's like dynamically aware that I'm optimistic that I'll get there and I'm optimistic that I'll find solutions on how to get there. Okay? He already knows that the all is in the small. That the little steps that you take forward bring in lots in the end. Don't start to run before you learn how to walk. Don't walk before you learn how to crawl. It's, it's really just that. Don't look at the top of the mountain going, how am I going to get up there? You don't need to get up there. You need to take the first few steps in front of you. That's all that you need to do. The Hermit. Contemplation and Wisdom. Right, number nine. The Inner Self. The Hermit is never really worried about the path that he's taken. The only thing that he worries about is not getting the internal wisdom um, and that the inner light will be snuffed. So you're going from an internal spot when you are content, happy, joyful within yourself as you're walking through life And you contemplate again. They're showing me that monk-like energy, that that introspection, that calmness. They're showing me the King of Cups. They're showing me the Hermit. They're showing me that just that Zen from within is just how you need to go forward. You need to really develop this and not worry what everybody's going to think. Just do you. Just do you. You do you the best that anybody else does. Don't try to be like anybody else. Just be you. Alright. Queen of Acorns. Passion. Creativity. Right. And when you're not busy trying to be somebody else, then you become yourself and then you become creatively you you become passionately you right okay one more Pisces one more they're such beautiful cards they're so calm like look at these colors they're just just the pastels are yeah mom I like my deck four feathers. There's that sanctuary and rest. It came out again reminding you that beautiful blissful rest. Okay? Make a lot of pit stops up on your mountain. Don't run yourself ragged. You get there. You will. You'll be able to look around and say, hey look, wow I'm halfway up. Look I'm three quarters of the way up. Well, look at that. I'm about to step on the top. Look at what I did. It took me a bit, but who cares? Not a race. It's a journey. The Ten of Feathers. Recovery and Transformation. They're saying right here what you're not seeing is that the whole point to all of this was to find enough courage to move in your life at your own pace. To recover from your past and to transform into something new the emperor, the stability. The stability means that it is, what is it written? Focus and stability. Yeah, that it's a very, um, it's not a fixed thing. It's, it's, it's not on the outside of you, stability. It's on the inside. The power lies within, with the cat here. Okay. Yeah, it's about control and security. Look at this. 
the Four of Crystals. We base too much on how much we can control the situation and how much security it's going to bring us. We do that in relationships too. Prove to me that you love me. I'm hearing. Prove to me that this is going to last. Prove to me that I'm going to be um, monetarily secured. Prove to me that my career will keep going up and up and up. Prove to me. It's all about proof. It's that, but that's a controlling mechanism that comes from a place of insecurity. We don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. The whole world could just fold. And all we would have had, if we had to look back, is how we lived up till that point. Enjoy your life. Take baby steps. Even if you're transitioning from a life that you no longer fits you into a life that does. When I did this, I started, I started giving less to that life and more to this one. Until I reached the middle of the road where I had to decide. And I decided correctly because this is where I want to be. And then I kept taking steps on this side. Am I where I exactly where I want to be? I feel I could do more, absolutely. But right now, today, I feel like I'm doing exactly what I'm meant to. When I do readings such as these, like today, I feel like I've given and said things that will profoundly change some of you, that will walk in a direction of peace, of authenticity, of feeling contentment and joy in the journey. And to see people like that walking into their lives in that way, looking for quality instead of quantity, not letting stuff around them um, always affect the way that they're going to live, brings me great peace and joy in my life. So do what that, do in your life what brings you that kind of contentment and joy. Okay, work towards it. Even a small step today can be of a great, beautiful ten of earth, ten of pentacles tomorrow. Bring you prosperity and abundance of the heart, soul, and body. Okay? Alright, that's it. That was spiritual guidance. Woof! Big one, but beautiful one. Beautiful message for you today. Um, I will see you tomorrow with the block. We always like working on those things, and we will. And uh, take care of yourself always, Pisces.